Here we go for round one, the referee for this fight, former world karate champion Terry Hill. Maggie's a talented fighter. Look, look, he's got good hands. At this stage of the fight, they probably just want to settle down a little bit, but just testing each other out. I think possibly look for an early knockout from Doug Viney. He's a very, very powerful fighter. Extraordinary power in his hands. He also comes out of the gym of Long Lolo Hey Muli. There we go, and there we go. He's caught him. Can he finish it? As long as he keeps, as long as he keeps throwing the knees, the referee won't break the clinch. And there we go. We see a very early eight count. And we saw a glimpse of the power of Doug Viney with that Seven, vicious slip hook of his. He's only 24 years of age, Doug Vinny. 101, set it up, don't wait. Don't wait. No. Oh, nice catch movement. High. Nice movement from Doug. 101, bro. Actually, Dion's yeah. looking a little bit paced. He's looking a little glassy, actually. Use it. Use it. Ah, hit him, bro. You see, the way Doug is moving to the side, not only is his, it is his natural ability, but yeah. it's part of Lulohei Muli's training as well. You go and you fight, and then you move. Yeah. Now, if he stays in the clinch like this, it's going to tell because he's not used to this kind of punishment but Dion Crouch won't lie down you can you can see the determination of the man he's getting he's getting basically a hiding in there but he's still looking to fight back he won't give up he's a tough character Doug Viney just taking his time a bit of a change from the past where he's rushed in and gone for the knockout once again just looking to take his time not sustain too much damage and rush in Ooh. As long as his fitness is there, he gets caught by hits like that and he'll stand fine. Just look for Doug Viney to throw an overhand right. And there we saw it just then. Just then. I, I told you, he's a tough character, this Dion Crouch. He'll take him. He's got to get composed. Got caught again. Doug just taking his time. Possibly needs to look at going down low with the leg kick. Caught him well with an overhand right as well. And there he goes. This will be good for Dougie. If he goes through to the next round, he'll be more relaxed. He's the kind of guy that gives the impression that he is quite relaxed. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. He came in with his hands down. Just coming to get out with him. Dion Crouch caught him with a backward fist. He'll be right if he can get up with his fitness is, is up to it. This could probably urge him on. Dion Crouch is going to come in and try and finish it, but that's the end of the end round. Of Dougie round just made it one. to the end of round one. Oh, my God. And yet again, we see a back fist coming out of nowhere. Now, you can do the back fist as long as you hit with the glove. You hit with the elbow, and it's considered a foul shot. That's right. Nip. He's pretty happy about that because he just won that round. Otherwise, he wouldn't have. And we see here just coming around right here, right now, and catching Doug right on the corner it's of the chin. It's difficult when you get hit on the chin. Nine times out of ten, you're going to go down with a hit like that. All Dougie needs to do now is remain composed. Muller will be setting things right with him, moving to the side, going for the leg kicks. Ben Ahipene in the corner of Dion Crouch. At that stage, he wasn't winning the fight, in my opinion, Mike. At that stage, Dion Crouch was basically on the receiving end of a one-way beating. However, as we can see, the power of these guys comes out once again, coming out from nowhere, and a knockout can occur at any time. You see, what happens is a lot of these fighters are going in when they see someone's back turned, a lot of them are going in, and all someone needs to do is spin around, and they'll catch them every time. But Doug, you'll be more aware of that in this round, and he'll be grateful that it was the end of the round, and he made it through the count. You can only be saved in the last round. Round two. By the bell. Round two. Dion Crouch will be looking to capitalize on that. Dougie may well still be feeling it. Right. Can't hold him the clinch for too long. Tef uh, Terry Hill, referee, coming to break up the clinch. This is the most dangerous time for Doug. Doug Vinny, he really still has to clear the cobwebs a little bit, keep Dion on the end of his punches until he himself feels he's fully recovered. You can see him moving his angles well, but it's easy enough to get caught as he has done. And there he goes with the knees again. 
They take their toll. You've got to understand that a punch to a knee just doesn't compare. The young crouch seems to be heaving a little bit. He's really feeling those knees on the inside. Davey can get composed and wait for his shots. It's got to make a big difference. Oh, he there we go. An overhand right. He walked into it. And he goes down now. You know that this guy is tough. And he's going to try and get up if he can. And there we go, Dion Crouch. This is what I'm talking about, the Warriors. He couldn't walk. Oh, he tried Terry to get up. Good call. The second round, Dougie Vinnie catches him with an overhand right. And Dion Crouch goes down. You know he tried to get up. He tried to continue on, but he wasn't able to. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tough kickboxing tournament. The, the toughest winner, we've ever had here. One minute, 12 Doug seconds into round Fisher two. Doug Vinny knocks out Dion Crouch. And here's how it happened. Throwing him in. Overhand right, catching him, and then that overhand left. There was no coming back. He tried. And that's what happens here in the K1. He's a talented fighter. This is the guy I'm saying is the dark horse. It's exactly that. Notice his timing there and there. He, he drew him in and then right hit hand, him left hand, right, just over the left hand. You can understand if he was a little upset for going down in the last round.